Kia tatu and hello YouTubers. Um, I'm just putting together a video on how to save your songs from your CDs on a Honda Internavi. Um, so it's save it onto the sound container um, function. So what I've got here at the moment is a CD that's playing. Um, and as you can see here, um, all these songs have actually been saved to my sound container. So what I'm going to show you is how to um, take a CD, load it in, and then uh, record those songs onto your sound container. So what we'll do is we'll uh, open up the CD unit head. And I'll take that CD up. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, take that one out and what we've got here is we've got um, 660 classic New Zealand album um, and we'll just put in the first CD chuck that in there just put it into this unit um, another way to get actually get songs onto your sound container is to use a PC card here or uh, HDD um, I, don't, I won't show you how to do that in this video though but let's close this here So once you turn that CD on, um, you'll see here Grace Note Technology will download all the information uh, relating to that CD, and it should come up. Um, looks like uh, Grace Note doesn't have any information on 660. Uh, that's a shame. Um, but anyway, um, how you can tell whether or not your song's being loaded to sound containers, you'll notice that each to ne next to each track you'll have this blue R. And what that indicates is that that song can be recorded to the sound container. Um, so there's a couple of ways to do that. One is to clip down here on this button in the bottom right hand corner. And you'll see here there's a menu item under scan. Press that. And this bottom um, setting down here will actually record your songs um, from every CD that you put into your, um, into your Internavi unit. So if I go back now... Um, this when I enter the CD and this will automatically go red um, but we're not going to use that feature I'm just going to show you how to download one at a time so we'll press that and you can see here that this first tracks now got an R next to it and it stopped the song the song will start playing and we'll just wait for that to, that R to disappear I think it takes about 20 to 30 seconds depending on how long the song is um, the reason why I'm doing this is because these units are all in Japanese. Uh, they were made for the Japanese market and they have some really cool features that are only available in Japan. Like the ability to download updated software using the Bluetooth on your phone. Um, to display the current weather and update maps on the navigational function of the Internavi. Um, there's still some other cool features like the sound container. Um, I know the technology is a bit out, to out of date, um, but what you can also do is just burn MP3s onto a CD and then also copy those as well. Um, so that's quite handy. You'd be able to get a lot more songs onto one CD. Um, so that's really cool. Um, you'll notice over here in the top left hand corner, it says recorded um, and it shows you the percentage of the CD that's been recorded. Um, this is actually taking a bit longer than normal. Ah, there we go. Cool, so that one's burnt. Um, so we'll just go over to the sound container to show you how the CDs have all copied over. So go to sound container. And you can see here that CD that I was listening to before, Red Hot Chili Peppers, has all been burnt to my sound container. If we go to play playlist, we can have a look at some of the other albums that I've got on here. Um, Akon Trouble. Wu-Tang, Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers, classic album, definitely need that on your sound container. And then here's the bottom, we don't have the title because Grace Note doesn't store the information on 660, but we can come and play that song. Yeah boy. Definitely want this album recorded on my sound container for the next road trip over the summer. Cool. Thank you YouTube, see you later.